Instead of living on less, learn what it takes to earn much more. Much more. What you have to do to be successful and wealthy and rich is completely different than what you need to do to just be comfortable. It's not that your goals are too high and you miss them. It's that your goals are too low and you hit them. It's simple. Rich people do what broke people only think about. T. Harvecker went from zero to millionaire in only two and a half years and has now taught over half a million people his powerful principles for financial success. Stay tuned and learn his secrets of the millionaire mind. Here's T. Harvecker. So... How many of you would like to have a lot more money in your lives? Yeah. Excellent. And how many of you would like to have a lot more happiness in your lives? Yeah. Thank you. And how many of you would like to have a lot more of both in your lives? Yeah. Excellent. You've come to the right place. Why? Because today you are finally going to get to the root cause of financial success. You know, I wish I would have had this information when I first started out. Instead, I spent almost 15 years struggling financially. But by applying the exact same secrets of the millionaire mind that you're about to learn here, I became very wealthy and now you can do that too. The secret is in something called your money blueprint. And in the next hour, I'm going to show you how to identify your own money blueprint and reset it for wealth, freedom, and financial security for the rest of your life. Now, let me define money blueprint for you. It's simply the way you think, feel, and act about money. And this applies to everyone, whether you're a plumber, a doctor, a CEO, or you're retired. Again, it's how you think about money. And it doesn't matter whether you have a lot of education or very little. Now I know this sounds way too good to be true, but I promise you, if you stay with me, you will know without a doubt in every cell of your body that it is your money blueprint that is the real root cause of financial success, mediocrity, or failure. And you will also understand how your money blueprint determines your feelings around money, including your fears, your worries, and even possible feelings of guilt. It is the same blueprint that creates your habits and determines whether you're a saver or a spender, a good money manager or a poor money manager, and whether you end up living on a meager fixed income or you retire rich. In short, your money blueprint determines your financial life. And by the end of this program, you will know exactly why you might not be reaching your full financial potential and exactly what to do about it. So, let's learn about the psychology of wealth. It's very important to realize that we live in a world of duality. What's the word, please? Duality. Thank you, duality. Give me some examples. Up and down, right and, down. Right and left, Light and dark, short and tall, rich and poor, male, female, black and white, perfect. Take right and left. Is it possible to have a right side without a left side? Right of what? You see, it's a comparison. So just as there are outer laws to money, therefore there must be what? Inner laws. You know what? The fact is, most people do not reach their full potential. Most people are not successful. 80% of us will never be financially free in the way we would like to be free. And 80% of us will never claim to be truly, truly happy. And there's a reason. Would you like to know what it is? Yes. The reason is simple. Most people are slightly unconscious. They live only on a very superficial level of life, only based in the visible world, only based in what they can see. So as you can see, we have a tree, and this is called the tree of life. And on this tree grows what? Fruits. In real life, our fruits are called our results. So we take a look at our fruits or our results, and we don't like them. They don't taste good. There's not enough of them. They're too small. What do we tend to do? Don't we tend to focus more and more of our energy on those fruits, on the results? Yes or yes? Yes. Well, let me ask you a question. What is it that caused those particular fruits? It's what? It's those roots that cause those fruits. It's what's under the ground that creates what's above the ground. It's what's invisible that creates what's visible. In nature, is that sometimes or all the time? All the time. How many of you would agree that human beings are nature? 
So with us, is that sometimes or all the time? All the time. Excellent. Meaning if you want to change the fruits, where are you going to have to put your attention? On the roots. Thank you. Now, one of the most important things I believe you can ever understand is that we don't live in only one realm alone. We live in at least four different worlds at once. Help me out here, please. We live in the mental world. What's the word, please? Mental. Excellent. We live in the emo emotional world. We live in the spir spiritual And absolutely, we live in the what? Physical, material world. And what most people never understand or get, or if they do get it, they don't use it, is that your physical, material world is nothing more than a printout. What's the word, please? Printout. Excellent. A printout of the other three areas. These are the fruits, but these are the roots that cause those fruits. This is what's visible, but this is what's invisible that causes what's visible. Here's another way of saying it. Nothing happens here before it first happens here. How many understand what I'm talking about? Excellent. So the fact is that money, real stuff, yes? Yes. Money is a result. Wealth is a result. Health is a result. Illness is a result. Your weight is a what? So We live in a world of cause and effect. So it boils down to this. That the only way to permanently, what's the word please? Permanently. permanently change your outer world is to first change your yeah. inner world. So let's give that some energy by doing a declaration together. Now, what's a declaration? It's a statement that you make out Loud, out loud, thank you. Why do we do this? Because every statement has its own energy, either positive or negative. And what you put out is what you get back. Again, we live in a world of cause and effect. And when we put out positive statements, we attract positive results. Now, these declarations will make a powerful shift in your life. And now, I realize that a lot of you might be thinking, oh my gosh, is this ever hokey? But the way I figure it is I'd rather be really hokey and really rich than really cool and really broke. How about you? Yeah. All right, so you want to do the declaration? Yeah. All right, repeat after me. My inner world creates my outer world. My inner world creates my outer world. Excellent. I want to share with you something called the process of manifestation or how we create our results. Your thoughts lead to your feelings, which lead to your actions, and all of that leads to your re no. You say that with me, please? Your thoughts lead to feelings, lead to lead to now, each of us has a personal money and success blueprint already ingrained in our subconscious mind. And my friends, it is this blueprint, more than anything and everything else combined, that will determine your financial life. What that means is you can be the best business person, the best negotiator, you can be the best marketer, the best salesperson, you can be the best communicator, you can be the best manager, you can be the best at your job. You can know everything about real estate, you can know everything about stocks and bonds and other kinds of investments. You can have years of financial experience, you can already be retired or close to it. But if your subconscious money blueprint is in preset for a high level of success, you will never, what's the word please? Never. You will never amass a large amount of money, and if by chance you do, you will somehow manage to lose it. Can I give you an example? Raise your hand if you've heard of somebody by the name of Donald Trump. <laughs> Multi-billionaire. He loses everything and more, Two years later, he's got it all back again and more. Why? Because his money blueprint is preset for high. On the other side of the coin, we have lottery winners. We've all heard the stories, yes? They win five, 10, 50, 100 million dollars. Five years later, virtually half of them are right back to where they started. Why? Their money blueprint is set for low. And this is why often older people end up losing their money or being broke. Here's a story that just blew my mind. I had a widow come up to me in my seminar, and she and her husband had saved all their lives for retirement, and they did fairly well. But almost the minute that her husband passed away, things started to go downhill quickly. Their investments started to falter, his company pension plan had dried up, and the medical bills all came due at once. Within 60 days, she was virtually broke. 
What I discovered is that she grew up dirt poor and she watched her parents age in poverty. And with a few more questions,